Hello there, I'm Chris from the Clinical Nutrition Team and today what I want to talk to you about is the trillions of bacteria that live inside your gut. Which might sound like quite a scary thought, but actually we've grown up with these bacteria over the years and we have a mutually beneficial health relationship with them. We give them a place to live and eat and they do all sorts of things that benefits our health. So really, we quite literally couldn't live without them. How exactly do they help? Well, first and foremost, they help to keep our bacteria in balance and they help to defend us against the bad bacteria. We might come into contact with those bad bacteria through food poisoning, through traveling abroad, just through coming across an infection, or even the balance of our bad bacteria might be affected by taking antibiotics or certain medications. And when our bacteria become imbalanced in that way, we get all sorts of symptoms. So we might get conditions like IBS, or we might get diarrhea. Diarrhea is a common side effect from taking antibiotics and some medications. There's a really good body of evidence that suggests that good bacteria, probiotics, can help to correct the balance of bacteria and reduce those symptoms like diarrhea and like IBS. Another really important way in which those good bacteria help us is by promoting a good immune response. So they help to keep the immune system on red alert and help it to detect other more dangerous types of bacteria more easily. So we can take a probiotic and actually it's been shown in research again to reduce our tendency to get infections and when we do to shorten the infection and the symptoms and that evidence is for both children and adults. So the single most important thing actually that you can do every day for your immune system is to take a good bacteria product, is to take a probiotic. They also help us in all sorts of other ways. Actually, when the immune system is overreacting, like in an allergy or inflammation, they help to reduce it. There's also some evidence that they might help us to control our weight, to reduce our cholesterol, and to support our mood and well-being, and to support the balance of our hormones. So keeping our good bacteria in balance and looking after it like it looks after us is a really important thing to consider. The question then is, how do you choose a probiotic product that might help you in this way when there are literally hundreds out there to choose from? And it is important that you choose a reputable product with the right bacteria in the right quantities for it to work. One important thing is, remember that you're putting bacteria into your mouth. So you need to make sure that you're confident about those bacteria and that they're safe, that they're human strain bacteria, that they're supposed to be there and that they're well researched. Similarly, the bacteria are very prone to die in a capsule or a powder, so we want to make sure they're stable. One way we can do this is to put them in the fridge and the stronger probiotic products, the really high strength ones, tend to be in the fridge. But also there are now some shelf stable probiotics that can stay alive for lengths of time at room temperature. So it might be more convenient for you to choose one of those products for your needs. The other important thing as well is to make sure that your probiotic comes with a prebiotic such as FOS, fructooligosaccharide or inulin and that feeds the good bacteria and increases its effectiveness. We also need products that are flexible. There's no point in having a probiotic in your cupboard if you're not going to take it. So sometimes powders suit people better. Sometimes you can use the melt on the tongue powders, maybe for children that they might enjoy. And sometimes a capsule might be better. Having the right flexibility to have the right product is really important. But most importantly of all, it's making sure that that probiotic product is going to work. We don't necessarily want lots of different types of bacteria where we don't know how effective they are. And equally, we don't necessarily want high strength bacteria if those bacteria aren't right. The billions and billions aren't going to make any difference if they're the wrong kinds of bacteria. So having exactly the right type of bacteria at exactly the right level is what makes an effective product. So I suggest you look for a product that's designed by experts who've researched probiotics in the field and has been used by professionals in trying to make people better. My final message then is to you, these good bacteria are incredibly helpful for our health. So just like they look after us, we need to look after them. If you need any more information about probiotics or anything else, 
look at the number in the email below and give us a call at the Biocare's clinical nutrition team. We'll always be happy to help.